Welcome to GScan Online, where you can scan effortlessly within SharePoint Office 365. In this quick tutorial, you'll see how you can use its superior image functioning features, as well as click to index. Simply entering a library that we'd like to work with. I have invoices. I'm going to extract the document that I'd like to work with. As you can see, the only icon that's been added is the get document icon. The reason why we say get document is because you can virtually get the document from any device or storage. On the right hand side, you'll see the indexer with its pre-configured content types and document libraries and the metadata waiting to be indexed. At the top left hand corner, you'll see the get document again, where we'll select the document that we'd like to work with. To show you its imaging functioning features, we're going to show you a document that's been used or a photograph that's been used taken with the Windows phone. It's a 2.2 megabyte file, which is quite large in size. And this is what it looks like. It's not very clean, it's upside down, and there's quite a bit of flash, making the text a little bit less legible. Clicking open, our automated pre-configured image functioning features will now clear the image up with despeckle, deskew, crop, as well as any others within the features here. If you'd like to keep the color, you simply click on keep color and you can see the document as it was taken originally. But for simple purposes, we're going to just make it black and white. On the right hand side, you'll see the indexer and the metadata waiting to be indexed. Technically, you could do manual typing. However, with its click to index, with the right click, you just hover over the text that you need and it's shot into the appropriate metadata index field. So order ID and a company name consisting of two words Simply right click and highlight all the words to pertain, the information that you need, and away it goes. Dates can be taken in any chronological order, and of course the total amount is in the currency that you have already pre-configured within your SharePoint columns. We're done, we're going to save all, yes, and we're going to return back to the SharePoint site. So the entire time you're staying within Office 365, your SharePoint, you're never having to leave the Microsoft ecosystem having to exit out and enter in any other third-party apps. And at the same time, you're saving a lot of work time. So here you're going to see the document that we worked with, which just happened a few seconds ago, and the compression that takes place. It can take up to 100 times, if not more, of the compression. So it's only 18 kilobytes. And if we open the PDF, we'll see a full text searchable PDF. So any information that you need to be found within SharePoint, whether or not it was indexed can be found effortlessly within SharePoint search. So these documents are only the ones that pertain to the document that we actually had that included a person's name that was not indexed. Please contact us at go support at gradientecm.com should you have any further questions or concerns, we'll be happy to help.